He was old and Irish captain. His name was Somerville. With courage, hold did he control. He played his part so well. Was on the eighth of June, me boys at Nat's bit head we lay. On board there came an order, a ranker for to way. Bound for the coast of Ireland, our orders did run so. For us to cruise and not refuse against a daring foe. We had not sailed many lengths at sea before a ship we spied. She being some lofty Frenchmen come a bearing down so wide. We hailed her in French, me boys, just from whence we came. Our answer was from Liverpool and London is our name. Oh, pray are you some man of war, oh, pray what may you be. Oh, then replied our captain, of all that you soon shall see. Come and strike your English colors, or else you shall ring too. Since you're so stout, you shall give out, or else we will sink you. Well, the first broadside we gave to them, it caused them for to wonder. Their mainmast and their rigging to come a-rattling down like thunder. It drove them from their quarters, could no longer stay. Our guns did roar, we made quite sure we showed them British play. Oh, now we've took that ship, me boys, got speed to us, fair white. That we might sail to Plymouth Town if the heavens prove so kind. We'll drag a health unto our captain, to all such warlike souls. To him we'll drink and never flinch out of our flowing bowls. Thank you. Here all day. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I'd rather be at the pub all day. Yeah. All right, well, since you started with a sailing song, I'll go with the sailing song. All right, sounds like a plan, sir. There was a ship that sailed all along the lowland sea, and the name of our ship was the Golden Vanity. We did so be to taken by the Spanish that you having and and as she sailed in the lowland, lowland, lowland. He said to our captain, what would you give to me? I swim alongside of the Spanish enemy. I sink her in the lowland, lowland, low. I sink her in the lowland sea. Who will he be the bane of the ship from Spain? And sink her in the lowland sea. And what shall he earn if he should return to the golden vanity? Oh, I would give you silver and I would give you gold. My own fairest daughter, your bonny bride to be. You swim alongside of the Spanish enemy. You sink her in the lowland, lowland, low. You sink her in the lowland sea. So the boy he made him ready and overboard sprang he. He swam alongside of the Spanish enemy. With his brace and auger in her side, he poured those three. He sank her in the lowland, lowland, low. He sank her in the lowland sea. So he was the bane of the ship from Spain. He sank her in the lowland sea. And what shall he earn if he should return to the golden vanity? So quickly he swam back to the cheering of the crew. The captain would not heed him for his promise he did rue. He scorned his poor entreatings when loudly he did sue. He left him in the lowland, lowland, low. He left him in the lowland sea. So quickly he swam round to the port side. Up to his messmates full bitterly he cried. Oh, messmates, draw me up, for I'm drifting with the tide. I'm sinking in the lowland, lowland, low. I'm sinking in the lowland sea. So his best mates drew him up, but on the deck he died. They stitched him in his hammock, which was so fair and wide. They lowered him overboard, and he drifted with the tide. He sank in the lowland, lowland, low. He sank in the lowland sea. Nicely done, sir.
say, let's uh, poke fun at the Royal Navy. As long as there's none of them here. Yes, anybody here from the Royal Navy? I was. Oh, sorry. The Royal Navy. <laughs> All right, you stand on this side. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to poke fun at our old adversaries, the Royal Navy. Because they're stuck on ships for many months at a time, all sleeping, all hunched together, and getting all sweaty and all. You oh, seem to know a lot about this. Get there, don't I? Fun memories, huh? <laughs> Backside rules the navy. Backside rules the sea. If you want a bit of bum, better get it from your chum, cause you'll get no bum from me. Let us sing a bit of good old Captain Kit. We sat one early morning in the head. A bee came flying past and it stung him on his careful butt. And this is what the gal you captain said. Ouch! Backside rules the Navy. Backside rules the sea. If you want a bit of bum, better get it from your chum, cause you'll get no bum from me. Now we'll sing some rhymes of Yeoman Second Grimes, who ran the hook that hoisted up the mail. One day as he stood watch, it caught him by the crotch, and he cried as he went flying over the rail. Backside rules the Navy, backside rules the sea. If you want a bit of bum, better get it from your chum, cause you'll get no bum from me. The cook wore his hats, made of good old-fashioned maps. The cabin boy to the galley made his way. They started having fun as they filled up the rum. And this is what the cook, he had to say. Bottoms up, boys. Backside rules the Navy. Backside rules the sea. If you want a bit of bum, better get it from your chum. Cause you'll get no bum from me. Now to end our song, we'll sing of A.B. Long, whose member was not like his name at all. When asked if he would tell how he got along so well, his answer simply was, as I recall, Says does matter. Backside rules the Navy. Backside rules the sea. If you want a bit of bum, better get it from your chum, cause you'll get no bum from me.